Hi, and welcome back to Nerd Galaxy. We're here playing Wind Waker with my dad. Hey. And uh, we're about to go and get Medley. We can hear a strumming. She's around here somewhere. I think she's up on one of those balconies. We gotta go inside. Come out on top. There are two bases in there. You didn't break them. So you used to be picking up bases and throwing them. Yeah, that was at the beginning of the game when I needed money. I have 338 right now. I'm fine. Uh, this door? Oh, there she is. Yep. Going that way. There she is. Oh, Thistle, you're okay. I'm pretty sure I give all the girls the same voice. Probably. You know, Prince Kamali's. You could try voice acting. How's that sound? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> Prince Kamali's been asking me all about your adventures, Thistle. I mean, I just saw him. Like he he came and saved me from Ganon. He was one of the he was one of the Rito who came and saved me. So, oh, he could have asked me himself. I can rest easy now that I've seen you uh, safe and sound with my own eyes. Prince Kamali's turned into a fine young adult, hasn't he? It's been like three days since I saved everyone here. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know how like everything's progressed so far. Grew up so much. <laughs> yeah, he grew up so much in the past three days. Recently, he's even begun to... I mean, maybe it's been like a week, but still, like... He's even begun doing things on his own, without my guidance. Every conversation still ends up centered on you, though, Thistle. Watching Prince Kamali grow, grow up fills me with pride, but it makes me a little sad as well. I wonder if this is how a mother feels. Oh, but just listen to me go on. How weird I must sound. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, I'd better continue practicing so I can be more useful around here, too. Performing music like this is an important duty of an attendant. Let me just... Ooh, Wind Waker. Oh, is that the Wind Waker? Wow! Thistle, will you conduct me? I wonder how I how I'll do. Uh, so how'd that go? It was down, down, straight, left, right, straight. Except right, left. I, I confused my sides again. Very bad at that. Yeah. Uh, so you guys don't know. Uh, so I have to do an audio sync at the beginning of each episode, so that the audio and video match up. And I keep saying left and going right. Yes. And my dad has to point it out every time. Yes. What a mysterious song. It sounds so familiar. It's almost as if something I've forgotten is trying to be remembered. Oh, I feel... Oh, gosh. Timber! So yeah, this is this is basically this the proof that the Rito tribe evolved from the Zora tribe. Oh. Okay. Which honestly, so it's only been about maybe uh 100 to 200 years since Wind Waker. I mean not Wind Waker, Ocarina of Time. Yeah. So uh, they evolved pretty fast. <laughs> Uh, it's said that the gods influenced their evolution, so... The goddesses, I mean. Oh, okay. Because they didn't want people... That's supposed to be your daughter. No, right. not daughter. Descendant. Oh, just descendant. Okay. Yeah, just... Just... Long descendant. Which also seems weird, because the Rito are... And not the the uh So so you know how uh what's happening? Oh she's just remembering the song. So you know how in uh oh just now a sage spoke to me. She spoke so gently. There's something, something that I must do. Thistle. 
Thanks to you, I have been awakened to knowledge that I am the sage of the Earth Temple. There's actually something that I can do to help this world. It's incredible. I bet my teacher knew all about this. Thistle, please, you must take me to the Earth Temple. We must hurry and wake the power to repel evil that sleeps within the Master Sword. Hey, it's Prince Kamali. Is he going to take her? No, he's she's just forlorning that she won't see him for a while. Let's go now, quickly and quietly. Because until you begin, and they can't really leave the uh, temple. Oh, Kamali, I just want him to remember me as a simple attendant. Actually, it's never clear if they actually leave. That's never been established in either of the uh, next games. Oh, because they just disappear? Yeah, I mean, you never... But yeah, now she's on my boat. Uh, let's just warp. And once again, the quickest one without changing the wind would be this one. If I change the wind outset would be the quickest one. But, yeah. But uh, as I was saying before, we were distracted by the cutscene. Uh, you know how like elves live forever in uh, in like common mythology. The these Zora are kind of like the elves for uh, going the right way, right? Which one? Go south. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Yeah. Um, Zora kind of like the elves of Zelda. Like they basically live forever unless they are killed. It, if, if not forever, at least hundreds and hundreds of years. Because uh, it's more fleshed out in Breath of the Wild uh, because you go into a hundred years sleep. But uh, Prince Sidon, uh, the main Rito you interact with, who was just like a little guppy uh, when you went under, um, is full grown and like acting like a teenager a hundred years later. Well, acting like a teenager? Okay. I'd say teenager oh. to early 20s. Right, right. Just immature. Not like so much. Yeah, just like a little immature. Like that. Like overly confident about everything and all that kind of stuff. But, uh. Yeah. Yeah, so it it is pretty canon, and uh, they make it go in a in a kind of weird direction. Like it, if you don't realize it, it can be kind of creepy. Pirate ship, pirate ship's back. Wow, we made it here faster than I thought. Uh, you have him? No. There you go. Yeah, let's get him. Yeah. Yep. Easy enough. Yeah. I was gonna turn around and scan it. Yep. Oh. Wow. Just a couple more feet. We were ran into the cutscene. Bedley, listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you. The temple ahead is the nest of an evil creature, the same creature that stole the life of your predecessor, the sage. It is dark and a frightening place. This is why, if you do nothing else, then at least do this. If Thistle comes near you and presses ZR to call you, then be silent and follow closely behind him. And if Thistle presses A, allow him to lift you, and if need be, fly and carry him through the air. And Thistle, if Medley gets stuck and cannot continue in the temple, use the Wind Waker to conduct the song you learned at the Tower of the Gods. Do you understand? Remember that? The song of, uh... Which song? It's the, uh... I forget what it's called, actually. The, uh... Thistle, protect Medley, and Medley, protect Thistle. Power to repel evil shall surely be returned to the Master Sword. There you go. Uh, it's the command melody. Oh. But yeah, as I was saying, there's a slightly creepy point in Breath of the Wild, a, a uh, side quest you can do, where you hook up a, a an adult Hylian 
and what looks to be a childlike Zora. Like, she's quite small. Okay. But, like, she's already lived for, like, 50 years, and the guy was only, like, 25. So, actually, she's a lot older than him, but she still looks like a child. <laughs> it's yeah. just kind of like, yeah, if you don't realize that, yeah. it seems kind of creepy. Uh, she's supposed to do the... The song? Why well, conductor? Yeah, because I'm a conductor. They'll, they'll show a little cutscene of me conducting her. Watch. See? Because, yeah, I'm just the conductor. Like, I'm just like, hey, here's the tempo. And... Yep. But yeah, we got here a lot faster than I thought, because we're about to end this session, and we're going to be in this dungeon. Well, we won't get too far into it, so I'll just be able to come back to where I was on the next session. I just need to remember. But yeah, it is, like, it is accepted canon that the Zoras have long lives. And it can't have been too, like, it doesn't feel like it's been too long since Ocarina, if you look at the timeline, so. Oh. We're gonna go. Oh, we're gonna go in. Yeah, we're gonna go in the dungeon. I can. We won't get too far in. Okay. And I left what? it behind. Oops. I forgot to hit the call button, so she kind of just stayed back here, and now I gotta pick her up again. So yeah, that's that works better. Oh, so you have to carry her. In. Good job, Nedley. You distracted him for me. Yeah, that was <laughs> I just absolutely unloaded on him. That was. Oh, what, was that? what that? Yeah. That was a pirate charm. Oh. At least she didn't kill her along the way. <laughs> no. She actually can't hit her, get hurt unless I'm actually commanding her. Let's see here, which I'm about to do. Uh, how's that one go? No, it's uh. There we go. Yeah, this is, at this point, it's kind of wish I had the uh, the. Uh, the Wii U gamepad instead of the Pro Controller because if you have the gamepad uh, when you bring out the Wind Waker like all the melodies just appear on you on the screen oh. down there so there we go so now I gotta yeah not so much come back but just Ooh. Don't worry, I just hit ZR back. Oh no, they ignore her. Oh. Ow. Thanks, Dad. Oh, not that kind of fire? Yeah, fire time. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, I thought that was a good joke. That was a good joke though. Yes it was. I do feel like I'm getting a lot more relaxed at doing this. I can tell. I don't know, how you feel about doing this? You want to do another series after this with me? Or you want to wait a, uh, a little bit? Well, it's up to you. Ah, what a... I know there's not a lot of you out there, but what does the audience think? Do you think I should have my dad do another game? <laughs> With all the color commentary? Yeah. Uh, I actually need you. Yeah. Uh, so this is a nice puzzle. Um, here we go. Uh, that way. What are you trying to do? Commander again? Yep. So her harp is actually kind of special. Reflects light. Yeah, 
I need the uh, hammer. Uh, hammer. Yep. Oh, and you have to destroy all three of them before you can. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep, and they'll they'll use those guys a lot for puzzles in this dungeon. But uh, see that chest there? That I can't get. Yep. Uh, there's also. Uh, right. I can remember which button was the Wind Waker for some strange reason. I'm just like, it's the up button on the D-pad. Like it's always been. Uh, there we go. And you need her to reflect it? Yep, you reflect light onto the chest, and then... Oh, uh, and now it's appeared, so now I can open it. Let's see how much... Hey, we got the dungeon map! Cool. So, uh, I think that will uh, end it this episode. Um, also remember that this is the room we were last in. Hopefully for the uh, next session. If not, I'll just start the dungeon over again. Or I'll just check what the episode... I need to remember to do that more. I keep getting lost in Metroid Dread. <laughs> uh, but uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Sounds good.